Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be audio booking a book written by me. It's called Colin and Miss Go Watch This, and I know you're going to love it. So please like, share, and comment the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's have a subscriber goal of 25 subscribers. And guys, remember this is part 3 of the video series. If you haven't watched part 2, 1 and 2, the link is in the description. Please go watch it. Whoosh! We were in some kind of portal. Then it all stopped. We were in the middle of a road in an old town. Everyone was wearing tailcoats and some old-fashioned belts. I don't know why, but everyone was wearing the hats I only saw magicians wear. It wasn't even so sunny, too. I looked around. There were many small houses, nothing like our homes. On the other end of the road, I saw a newspaper vendor. And guess what the date was? 15th December 1878. I looked at Isabel. And she was looking at me. We looked at Isabel's watch and it said the date was 8-23, December 15th, 1878. We wandered around the town and we saw Sir Thomas Edison's laboratory. We went inside and there was none other than Thomas Edison himself. He was experimenting on some light bulb, but we could see he was having some trouble with the experiment. So I asked him what was wrong, but he ignored us and told us to go away. But we kept on annoying him into telling us. Then impatiently he answered me to get away with us. The filament of the bulb is burning too quickly. Now can you get lost? So I thought about it for a while. Then it struck me. I asked this boy what they taught us in science class a few days ago. Yeah, I remember, she said excitedly. The oxygen increases burning, we both said musingly. So if we decrease the air, Isabel said, it will delay the burning. Join me. Sir Thomas also joined our thoughts and said, let me try with vacuum. So after, after that, I searched for a paper and a pen to take an autograph of him. He gave an autograph and it was time for us to leave. After that, we all know what happened. Sir Thomas Edison took our advice and used a vacuum glass bulb to remove the air and delay the burning. But now, we didn't know how to go back to the future as Isabel's watch wasn't spinning forward. So, we don't know how to go to the future. We were walking here and there without knowing what to do. I didn't know why everyone was staring at us weirdly. We were both experimenting on Isabel's watch, and then by accident Isabel spinned it backwards. Whoosh! We were in a jungle. There were huge trees whose weight would be about 60 to 70 feet. There were huge insects. They were like big as our hand span. Roar! A loud sound which kept our ears ringing for like 10 seconds. As soon as the ringing stopped, we checked the time in Isabel's watch. It didn't show any time. Then we saw it from far away. A few ankylosauruses were there, which were, I knew was a type of dinosaurs from Jurassic World. Then we saw it, a huge humongous stone falling to earth. It would almost be up to tens of miles in diameter. It was coming very hot. We didn't know what to do. We were running for our lives. Then we sh took shelter in the cave. Boom! A very loud sound came. We understood that the asteroid hit the earth. The earth was shaking, mud water was all over the place, then it caught our eye. An immense sandstorm coming our way. We were thinking hard on how to go to the present. The sandstorm was really close to us. We couldn't see anything ahead of us. It was so frightening. Our hair was as if we got an electric shock. There was dust here and there. We didn't know what to do. The sandstorm wasn't even a mile away from us. The wind was so strong it was pushing us away. It was all extremely frightening. Isabel held my hand tightly. Ow! I shouted at Isabel as she kept my, her hand on my watch. Then it hit me. If Isabel's watch takes us to the f past, maybe my watch takes us to the future. I didn't have time to tell Isabel. The sandstorm was just 50 meters away. So I kept the day. I hit the button. Whoosh! So thanks for watching guys, that's it for this part and the next part is going to come in a few days so stay tuned for that.